All right, well, Syracuse prides itself on international programs, study abroad programs, and uh, having a lot of international student presence here on campus in Syracuse. And today we're joined by two folks who are working on International Education Week. And right now while we're filming this, we're in the middle of International Education Week. Um, and it's headed up by the Slutsker Center for International Services. We're joined by Dr. Elaine Granger, who is the Associate Director. And we're also joined by Mohit Dewan. Uh, who is a first year grad student at Whitman, and he's the master of ceremonies of one of the main events. So tell us what that main event is. Uh, this main event is an international music festival. It is, uh, it's having multiple performances from uh, uh, Korean, uh, Palestine, and all, all the nationalities. It's like uh, coming together, it's like bringing together all the nationalities together to perform a really, and putting together a really good event. Including the US, yeah. which is also so, an international right. country. Of course, yes, and that'll be, that'll be at Hendricks Chapel, and uh, for the viewers who are watching this before Wednesday the 17th, be sure to check it out, and it will be at 6.30 p.m. What kind of work has gone into planning the, uh, the event? Well, there's a student committee and students like uh, Shannon, who is working on this uh, crew, um, has put together publicity and gotten students to bring flyers into their classrooms and around Shine and all over. Um, they've also designed the show, organized the musical uh, performances, they've written press releases. Um, it's really been wonderful and it is a, an inclusive group. There's international students and American students from all the populations we have in the domestic student body. So it's been very exciting. So it's been a lot of student involvement to put yes. the event together. Yes. How about the other events happening throughout the week? How have students been involved planning those? I know uh, Monday night uh, on the, uh, that would be the, I'm blanking, 15th, that would be, there's an Orange Dialogue for Peace event. Mm -hmm. And I know you had mentioned earlier that's something that's really important as well. Right. The program Orange Dialogue for Peace uh, does team building exercises on campus or in places like the Adirondacks and we've had a couple programs already this fall we started last spring and of course the idea is to peace build uh, precisely by bringing students together from nations in conflict uh, which sounds kind of um, contrary but really the bonding that goes on the understanding of humanity and uh, not looking at the nation not reacting to Stereotypes, And of course, if you're dealing with Palestinians and Israeli Jews, that's really something to see with right. all the history so that they have. So that's an ongoing program? Yes. Okay, yes. and it'll, it'll go on past this week? Well, I just applied for more funding Excellent. for spring, so yes, I hope so. And now we could find more information about that where? Do you have a website where we could um, get news about these kinds Actually, of uh, on Facebook uh, we have, <laughs> yeah, right, we have Orange Dialogue for Peace page and you can see pictures and students' comments and um, but that's a great idea, Ryan, web page. Yeah. Now, getting back to uh, this week in particular with that International Music Festival, mm -hmm. um, I know you're the master of ceremonies. What have you been doing to prepare for that and get yourself in the game for that? I've been, I've been preparing a lot. I've been uh, checking all the events, where, I mean, checking all the music events which are happening. I will check what are the type of events. I've been talking to the performers that what exactly their theme is to perform. Uh, this whole event is like uh, you bring together the community. It's, it's, uh, I'm an international student and it's like, a, it's like a home away from home for me. So we all are together, we all perform together. It brings us together. So this is the basic Will theme. you be performing? No. no. What's your favorite <laughs> performance though, that you're looking forward to coming up? Uh, I, I'm looking for, forward for a performance uh, which is done by two students from Cornell and two students from uh, uh, SU. It's a, it's a Turkish poem, I think. So I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, how exactly does it happen? You know, I used to play the cello, so maybe I'll break out my. Oh, hey! <laughs> well, well, thank you so cool. much for joining thank us you. here on Juice and Java. We appreciate it, um, and hopefully people will get out this week and uh, support it. And maybe we'll have you back again. We could talk about how it all went. That so. would be great. All right, love thanks it. a thank lot. You. Well, besides for playing the cello back in my days in middle school, for some reason people used to think I looked like Harry Potter. I don't know. I don't really see it. Maybe I guess I did. But here on campus, there's a group that uh, really is taking it to the next level. They're the Quidditch team. They're a club here on campus, and we're going to take a look and see the things they do here in Syracuse. 